welcome back to my YouTube channel. So don't forget to subscribe my TikTok page. Thank you so much. Hello students, happy learning. Our learning objectives. At the end of the lesson, the students will be able to describe and identify the subsets of a set. Evaluate basic set operations, meron tayong union and intersection of sets, and use Venn diagram to illustrate and compare sets. Ito po ang kailangan matutunan ng mga grade 7 students in the Matatag Curriculum for Mathematics Quarter 2 lesson. Are you ready to learn? Okay, first we are going to define subsets. Pag sinabing subset, in definition, if every element in a set is a is also member or bahagi din siya ng set B. Then, yung A mo is called the subset or part siya ng set B. We also say that A is contained in B or B contains in A. In symbol notation, so ito po yung ating A is a subset of B. Ibig sabihin yan, yung lahat ng elements mo na meron kay set A ay part din kay set B. Kaya ang tawag dyan, A is a subset of B. Or pwede siyang balik rin, Yung A ay nakaharap kay B, ibig sabihin lahat ng elements niya makikita kay B. Okay, let's have the example. So, which of the following sets is a subset of Z? Meron tayong elements niya na 3, 6, 9. So, let's answer number 1. Set L, the elements we have 3, 9. So, based on the definition, kailangan tignan po natin. Since all the elements of L are found or in Z, ibig sabihin... Si set L mo ngayon ay subset siya kay set C. Okay, next number 2. Set O, the elements we have 9, 3, 6. So, observe natin, di ba, na-reorder siya. But still, since all the elements of O are found or in Z, therefore, yung set O mo ay makikita yung elements niya kay set Z. So, next number 3. Set V, the element is empty or yung ating symbol na null set, no? That is the open close braces. So, ibig sabihin yan, walang laman. So, ibig sabihin nito, may definition dyan, no? Every set is a subset of itself. Maliban sa kanyang sarili yung object, empty set is also subset of set. Ibig sabihin, lahat ng set, nandoon dapat si empty. Kaya nga, that is, since empty set is subset of V, are found yung empty in Z, therefore, si set B is subset of Z. Next, number four. Set E, the elements we have 3, 6, 9, 12. So, ang tanong dyan, lahat ba ng elements si set E na 3, 6, 9, 12 makikita kay set C mo? Hindi po. Meron siyang 12 na hindi makikita. Kapag ganito po yung case, so meron tayong definition dyan. Or, there is at least one element of E, which is 12 no, na hindi makikita kay set C. Ang tawag po doon ay proper subset. Ano ibig sabihin ng proper subset? Meron dyang isa o mahigit pang element na hindi makikita kay set Z. So, in symbol, para siyang subset, no? pero may slant na symbol. Kaya nga, ibig sabihin, not all elements of A are found in set B. Yun yung ating tawag dyan, proper subset. So, therefore, ang answer natin is, set A is a proper subset of Z. Next, number five. Set D, the elements we have, 2, 3, C. So, lahat ba ng elements makikita kay set C? Hindi po. So, therefore, since 2 and C is not found in set Z, so alam natin na proper subset yon. Kaya nga, D is a proper subset of C. Okay, next. So, we are talking about the number of subset of set. Paano ba malalaman yung number or bilang ng subset sa isang set? So, meron po tayong formula dyan. To find the number of subsets of a given set, use the formula 2 raised to n. Yung 2 po dyan is the constant, hindi nagbabago. No? Ang nagbabago dyan, yung n mo yung exponent. Ano ba yung n dyan? n is the number of elements sa isang set. So, let's work the example para maintindihan po natin yung Formula na yan. Okay, let's have the given set. Set M is empty. Remember the symbol now, set there is no element. Kaya nga walang laman. So pag binilang ko yan, number of elements, syempre pag empty siya, automatic zero yon, Kasi walang laman. List of L subset. So syempre empty, empty din yung susulat mo. Okay, then to find the number of subset, use the formula 2 raised to N. Yung N dyan, yung papalitan mo, yung number of elements, no? Since 0 ang elements niya, so therefore, 2 raised to 0 yon. And what is 2 raised to 0? Take note, any number raised to 0 is 1. Kaya nga, ang bilang ng subset ni set M na empty ay 1. Next, set 
A, we have the elements or objects 1, 2. Pag binilang ko, ilan yung element niya? That is 2. So then, to list all the subsets, we have, remember, empty set is always part of the given set. Kaya nga nandyan yung empty. So single-single tayo. So empty, and then 1, open, close, braces, yan, comma, then 2. Pag wala nang single-single, double ka na. Kaya magkasama yung 1 and 2 sa open, close, braces. Yan na po yung ating list of subset. Kaya set A. To find the number of subset, use the formula to raise to n, where n is the number of elements. Kaya 2 yung sinabsitute mo sa exponent. Kaya 2 raised to 2, meaning, i-multiply mo yung 2 sa sarili niya na dalawang beses. Kaya nga, what is 2 times so that is 4. May ibig sabihin po, meron siyang dalawang subset. C, set A. Next, set T. Meron tayong elements niya. A, B, C. Pag binilang ko yan, ilan niyan? Yung object or element. There are, there are three elements. And then, to list all the possible subset, remember, empty set is also always part of the given set. Kaya nandiyan lagi. And then, single-single tayo. A, B, Naka-open close braces, C. And then, double-double na tayo. Yung A, B, nakamagkasama sa open close braces. Then, A, C, B, C. And then, pag wala na yung triple mo, magkakasama sila sa open close braces. Yan na po yung ating possible subsets. And then, to find the number of subsets, use the formula, no? 2 raised to N. N mo yung 3 dito. Kaya, sinabsitute mo lang siya. Kaya, what is 2 raised to 3? I-multiply mo yung 2 ng tatlong beses sa sarili niya. Kaya nga, that is 2 times 2, 4 yon Times 2, kaya naging 8. So, 8 is the number of subset ni set T. Okay, paano kung matcha-check kung tama yung sagot ko? Okay, i-match mo lang. Kung ilan yung nakalista sa set M mo, isa di ba nakalista? Isa din yung na-compute mo sa number formula or number of subset. Sa set A, meron tayong apat na nakalista, remember? And kapag ginamit mo ng formula, di ba apat yung number of subset? Pagdating sa set T, meron tayong walong nakalista. Walo din yung na-compute mong number of subset. Ganun lang po. Pag ang tanong, what are the subset? You have to list all the possible. What or how many number of subset? Use the formula. Okay? So with that, we're talking about the union and intersection of set. So I'll give you five seconds to define. Ready? Okay, pag sinabi po natin union of sets, so by the way, this is the set notation, no? yung symbol A union B. Ibig sabihin ng capital letter U, yun yung ating set containing all elements that are either in A or in B or in both A and B. Ibig silang sabihin po niyan, lahat, namang, lahat ng elements na nasa A at B. Pagsasamahin mo yon Pero kapag may naulit kaparehas niya sa set A tsaka B, isang beses lang isusulat sa set notation. We call that union. Okay, pagdating naman sa intersection, ito po yung ating symbol notation, no? That is the capital letter U, pero pabalitan siya. Okay, so ibig sabihin yan, containing all elements that are common. Ibig sabihin ng common parehas. Ano ba yung meron kay Ano ba yung element na meron kay set A na meron di kay set B? Ang tawag po doon, common, parehas. Yun yung intersection. So, ito po, tanda natin yung set notation for the union. A union B, ito naman ay A intersection B. Okay, let's have example number one. Let's set A, the elements, we have the word beauty. Yun yung ating elements. Set B, the elements, we have the word brain. Okay, all we have to do is find what is union. Remember the symbol? Union. So, ibig sabihin yan, since the operation is union, remember, combine all the letters, no? But, write the repeated letters only once. Kasi nga, distinct dapat. Walang kaparehas sa set notation mo, yung union. So, ibig sabihin yan, ang sagot natin yan, pag nilist mo, that is the beauty ring. Ibig sabihin yan, since naulit yung B dito, sa set A tsaka B, isang beses lang yon. Remember, that is distinct letters, no? A na ulit din, di ba? Kaya counted as one yun. So, therefore, that is now the union of set A and B. Pagdating naman sa intersection of set, remember, common. Ano ba yung meron kay set A na element na meron din kay set B? Yun yung ating titignan. Kaya nga, since the operation is intersection of set, uh, set enumerate the elements that are in common. So, meron tayo parehas dyan na set a tsaka B na B A. Yun na po yung ating common or intersection. So with that, since nahanap na po natin na ating union at intersection, we can now illustrate the union and intersection of set using Venn diagram. So ano ba yung Venn diagram? Venn diagram and what is the purpose? The purpose of Venn diagram is, is to illustrate 
and compare and contrast the difference and similarities of the objects or elements, no? Yung pagkakatulat at pagkakaiba nila. Okay, so meron tayong two overlapping circles. Naka-highlight po lahat ng ating circle. Dito naman, naka-highlight lang yung gitna, no? So, ang ibig sabihin po nito, yung lahat na naka-highlight dyan, union po yon. Kaya nga pagsasamahin mo lahat ng elements. We call that union of set. Dito naman sa kabila ay intersection. Kaya naka-highlight lang yung gitna kasi nga yan lang yung common may pareha sa A and B. So, since ang nakuha po natin yung ating set A and B na intersection is BA, ilalagay po natin yun dun sa gitna. Yun yung parehas nila na element ni set A at B. Pagdating naman sa union, ibig sabihin lahat po ilalagay natin. Okay, so unahin mo muna yung nasa gitna. So, yan yung sagot natin sa intersection. Since meron ka na intersection, yung BA, copy mo lang sa gitna. Tapos, yung meron lang kay set A mo na element, yun yung ating E, U, T, Y. Pagdating sa B, set B naman, meron tayong R, I, N. Pag pinagsama mo yan, ang tawag dyan, that is the union of set A and B, yung beauty rin. Kaya naka-highlight lahat yan. Okay, so yan na po yung ating union of set A and B using the Venn diagram. Okay, by the way, John Venn is the founder of the Venn diagram. Kaya pinangalan po sa kanya yung Venn diagram. From his surname. Okay, so with that, you are going to evaluate and illustrate using Venn diagram. Now, let set A, we have the odd numbers less than 11. While set B, we have the even numbers less than 10. All we have to do is find the union of set A and B. So, therefore, pag nilista mo lahat yan, isusulat mo lang siya as is. Okay, since wala naman na ulit yan, okay, as is, copy all the elements. And that is the union. Pagdating naman sa intersection, ano ba yung parehas nila? Meron bang common? So since there is no common, isasagot mo doon, empty set. Walang laman yung iyong open-close braces kasi nga there is no element in common. So yan na po yung ating sagot. So therefore, you can now illustrate using Venn diagram. For the intersection of set, since wala po silang common, hindi siya pwede magdikit yung circle mo na A and B. Ibig sabihin, wala kang ilalagay na element dyan kasi nga empty, walang laman. So, yan na po yung ating illustration ng Venn diagram for the intersection. Pagdating naman sa union of set, to illustrate the, the union, ibig sabihin nga, magkahiwalay pa rin sila. Ang gagawin lang mo lang, ilalagay mo yung element ni set A lang ha, yung 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Okay, pagdating sa set B naman, lahat lang ng element niya, yung 2, 4, 6, 8. So, yan na po yung ating union of sets with the Venn diagrams. Okay, let's have number 3. Let's set A the factors of 10, yung 1 times 10, 2 times 5. Set B the even numbers less than 10. All you have to do is find the union. Okay, pagsasamahin mo siya. Pero pag may naulit, hindi pwede isulat ulit. Yun, kaya nga 1, 2. Naulit yung 2, diba? Counted as 1 lang yun. Tapos, 4. Ito yun. Tapos 5, na ulit, ah, hindi siya na ulit, yan yun. Tapos 6, 8, 10. Okay? So yan na po lahat ng ating elements sa union ni set A and B. And then, what is the intersection? Meron ba silang common? Yes, meron silang pares na 2 na element. So therefore, yan na po yung ating sagot. Pagdating sa Venn diagram to illustrate the intersection of set, gawa ka ng 2 overlapping circle. Kasi may common sila, di ba, na 2. I-highlight mo yung gitna. I-shade mo kaya may color green doon. So, lagay mo dyan yung two na element na may common sa set A and B. Yan na po yung ating intersection of set A and B. Pagdating naman sa union of set, two overlapping circle pa rin, pero naka-highlight lahat ng circle mo sa A and B. So, ibig sabihin, lahat po lang lalagyan mo ng element. Unahin mo muna yung two kasi nga yun na yung sagot mo kanina doon sa intersection. Dadagdagan mo lang siya na yung meron lang kay set A kaya nandyan yung 1, 10. Pagdating sa set B, yung 4, 6, 8. Pag pinagsama ko dyan, yan na po yung ating union. Kaya naka-highlight po lahat yan. So, therefore, yan na po yung ating Venn diagram. Okay, so with that, you are going to answer the multiple choice quiz based on the lesson. Ready? Let's check. The answer is letter B. 
Okay, paano siya naging 12? Remember, so di ba nag-survey sila ng 140 students, no? So, 37 doon nagtitake up ng algebra. 103 naman yung nagtitake up ng geometry. Yung 25 dyan, yung pares nilang tinitake up. Kaya nasa gitna po yon. So, from the word only kasi, referring to only one subject taking up. Kaya nga yung 12 yon, Yun yung part lang ng algebra. Hindi kasama yung 25. Kasi yung 25 na yan, pares nilang gusto. Kaya hindi pwede yon. Kaya 12 ang sagot. Letter B. Next. Same given but different question. Ready? Timer starts. The answer is letter D, 103. Paano po yan? Remember, so how many students are taking up geometry? Wala siyang nilagay na only, no? Ibig sabihin yan, lahat ng nasa bilog ng geometry. Kaya nga, you have to combine or i-plus mo yung 25, eto, at yung 78. Kasi nga yung 25 dyan, Though gusto rin niya ng algebra, pero kasama sila sa bilog, no? Ibig sabihin yan, magtitake pa rin niya ng geometry. Kaya nga, 103, letter D. Okay, next, number 3. Ready? Okay, the answer is letter C, 115. O paano naman yan? Sabi niya, how many students are taking algebra? Or, the word or kasi, referring to union. Pagsasamahin mo lahat, ikukombine mo. Ibig sabihin yan, lahat ng nasa bilog. Okay? So, ipa-plus mo lahat. Yung 12, 25, 78 is equal to 115. Kaya nga, that is the union. Okay? So, next, number four. Ready? Okay, the answer is letter A. Four students. Remember, nag-survey sila ng 50 students, no? Yung 24 doon, nag-join sa music club. Yung 12 naman, eto yon as you can see sa Venn diagram, yung 24 nag-join sa music club. Yung 12 naman sa sports club. Yung 10 na nasa gitna, ibig sabihin niya, nag-join parehas ng music at sports. So, ang tanong dyan, how many students join neither music club nor sports? Ibig sabihin niyan, alin, ilan yung estudyante hindi sumali or nag-join? Kaya nga, to find the number of students, yung 50 na sinurvey nila, isubtract mo yung lahat nung nasa Venn diagram mo. Kaya 24 plus 12 plus 10, 46, isubtract mo sa 50. Kaya nga, ang remaining dyan, yung 4 students, yun yung letter A mo. Ibig sabihin, yung apat na yan, nasa labas ng Venn diagram mo. They did not join in any club. Okay? So, yan yung sagot. With that, you are going to answer your assignment. Just simply write true or false. If the statement is true, no, sulat ang salitang true. Otherwise, wrong. Okay, copy the and answer on one whole sheet of paper. Ready, copy. Okay, so with that, I hope you learned something and keep on learning. Bye-bye and keep safe.